sentence. I'm the dog that's black in the night. I'm the thing that's... Batman. I'm Batman. Hello. Welcome to this uh, review for the Batman. Yes, Matt Reeves' Batman is finally out. Uh, the Batman, I should say, because that's what it's called. Uh, Robert Pattinson is playing Bruce Wayne slash the Batman, spoiler alert. And uh, Zoe Kravitz is Catwoman. And Colin Farrell's supposed to be in it somewhere. I, I couldn't find him, but um, he's in the credits, so he must be there somewhere. And right off the bat, uh, I enjoyed the shit out of this movie. Uh, it's really... Really good. It's really good. I don't know why I'm sounding surprised. Like, like I wasn't expecting it to be good. Matt Reeves' uh, last two movies were the the last two Planet of the Apes movies, and uh, they were really good as well. So I had high hopes for this movie, and it met them. I wouldn't say it exceeded them. There's certain things uh, that I didn't like about the movie. We'll get to those soon. But off the bat. Overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Matt Reeves definitely, uh, he had a, a style that he wanted to bring to the movie, and uh, man, he bought the shit out of it. This is a detective noir thriller. Uh, it's in the vein of Seven, or Saw, in some ways. I, I was, I was, this, is, this is PG-13, so it's not gory or anything, but there's certain uh, moments that definitely make you go, oh, well, this is a Saw movie, and I wasn't expecting that. This this movie definitely goes for, for a mood. It's going for a certain mood, and it, it hits it right out of the park. Up until the last, like, 20 minutes where it, the mood kind of changes into a comic book movie. Obviously, it's a, a, based on a comic book, so, you know, it's not that surprising. But there are moments, because... Uh, the first hour and a half of this movie... This movie's three hours long, by the way. Uh, just so you know, it's it's five minutes off three hours. But the first hour and a half is very grounded and very, like, gritty and realistic. And then he does some Batman shit. And uh, the they bring out the computers, you know? They bring out the computers and they press render. And all of a sudden, he's a cartoon Batman. And you're like, what, what the f... Is, this feels like a different movie now and then the last half hour of the movie happens and it's, it's back to being cartoon again for the most part this is like this does feel like a singular vision and for the most part matt reeves accomplishes his vision but at three hours long it does start to to feel like it's dragging a bit and the last 20 minutes probably could have just been taken out of the movie there's just a part of me that just feels like Maybe, like, the studio had something to do with, oh, you've got to add more d d cartoons. I don't know. Maybe it was Matt Reeves. Maybe he was like, yeah, yeah, we need to, like, add more cartoons. We can talk about this at a different place, a different time, but, uh, but it's it's always funny to me when people say, oh, is this, like, a... Is this a movie with real people in it? And they're talking about, like, a Marvel movie? It's like, at times, Sure. But a lot of the time, it's a cartoon because it's made in a computer. The acting is uh, great, pretty much all around. I, there's no weak points when it comes to the acting here. Robert Pattinson is a really good Batman. Zoe Kravitz is a really good Catwoman. John Turturro is in this movie, and he's fucking great. Colin Farrell is—he actually is in the movie as uh, the Penguin, but you wouldn't notice him unless someone told you that that's him. Uh, and he's really great. He does a very heavy New York accent, uh, and I love it. Andy Serkis is Alfred, uh, and he's not in the movie too much, but, you know, he makes a really good Alfred. And, of course, Paul Dano, or Dano, 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 anyway, uh, is the Riddler, and he is also really, really good. No weak links in the cast. They all do their roles very well. Also, Jeffrey Wright as Gordon. This cast is crazy. It's a really good cast, and they all do a great job. Michael Giacchino, or Giacchino, again, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, uh, does the score, and it's got that theme from the trailer, the dun, 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 dun. And 
and it's uh, in the movie a lot, but it's very good. Uh, also, they use Nirvana's uh, Something in the Way a couple of times. It's appropriately fitting for the type of movie they're going for, and uh, that's, a f that's a great song, so why not? Obviously, a big part of Batman is Gotham City, and this is probably the best Gotham we've seen since... Uh... <laughs> Mm. Batman Returns, like the Schumacher movies made it like overly cartoony. They kept some of the style of the Burton Gotham, but uh, it just became very bright and neon. And Nolan's Gotham was like just a city. Like uh, there was no, nothing that really made it look gothic. I mean, it's right there in the name, Gotham. So make it look like the name suggests. But Nolan was like, let's make it, let's get... Let's make it look like Chicago. And I feel like this, the new one, the Matt Reeves one, is like a good combination of the two, where it is grounded like a Chicago, but also has tinges of the, the Tim Burton gothic architecture. And again, it, uh, it blends in with the, the theme of the movie. And, and I don't think it's ever mentioned in the movie, but they don't live in Wayne Manor. They live in this very fancy penthouse that I believe is in Wayne Enterprises Tower. I don't remember them mentioning anything about it. Maybe there was just a quick, quick thing about it, but I don't remember it. Finally, let's talk about that f***ing car, right? <laughs> My goodness, this Batmobile is so badass because it's just, it's just a hotted up car. That's all it is. It's somewhere in between the over-the-top Batmobiles and the regular just-a-car Batmobile. But it's so cool, and the, the scene where you first see it in action is... <sighs> this movie has a really good way of introducing the vibe of Batman. He starts off the movie doing a monologue about, you know, what what Batman means. The scene where you first see him as Batman is like, the build up to it is, is amazing. Cause they're building it up like, all the crooks in, in Gotham are scared of the shadows. Once they see the bat signal in the night sky, that's the cue to, to get the f away from whatever bad they're doing. And I don't want to go into detail about that first scene where he shows up, but it, it's really so cool. This whole movie is just the style of how everything's shot up until the last 20 minutes anyway is really cool even the, the batmobile like there's a chase scene in the trailer even that is like shot there's no like crazy like sweeping comic book shots like it's very realistically shot and a lot of the time like it's just like the camera's just attached to the side of the car and it's just it's so cool and so grounded while also having just so much style. Like the Nolan movies, as good as they are, they kind of went in the too realistic direction. There's nothing super fantastical about that Batman, and there's nothing really super fantastical about this Batman, but he does use his grappling hooks a lot, and there was that one scene in the middle where the computers took over that I wasn't uh, very happy with. But it's, uh, it's a sort of thing that definitely would not have been in an, a Nolan movie. At least not the way it's set up to be in this movie. So overall, The Batman is badass. I, I can't really say too much bad about it. Yeah, I can nitpick and say there's a couple of things that were kind of like, uh, uh, that could have been done better. Probably could have been 20 minutes shorter. Oh, there, there was also a couple of plot things I want to mention. Not spoilers, but I just want to say, if you're a Batman fan, you'll probably enjoy the movie. But I will say, if you are a Batman fan, there are going to be a, a couple of um, twists in the movie that uh, you'll see coming because you have a general knowledge of Batman. And I think they didn't need to make it into a twist. They set these things up to be like big, massive reveals. And um, if you know general stuff about Batman, if you don't know general stuff about Batman, then 
you you probably you might be surprised. I don't know. I don't even then. I don't know if you're gonna be like super surprised. Oh my god, what? I don't think that's gonna happen. So there you go. That's the Batman. If you're up for going to the movies, go see it. I recommend it. I'll see you again next time. Stay bad.